Did you know the largest source of water pollution today is contaminated rain and stormwater? As rain lands on our rooftops, lawns, and pavement, the water picks up whatever debris and pollutants may reside there. Pesticides, animal waste, salts, oil, litter. This stormwater runoff flows into storm drains, where it travels through underground pipes that in most communities feed directly into rivers and lakes. In Grand Rapids, it takes just 15 to 30 minutes for runoff from your driveway to reach the Grand River. And from there, it's on to Lake Michigan, with all the pollutants it picked up along the way. But it doesn't have to be this way. When rain and stormwater are allowed to drain into the ground, the earth is able to filter out most pollutants naturally. By the time it does reach rivers and lakes, it's not only cleaner, it is cooler and there's less of it. That's better for the fish, better for the invertebrates that fish eat, and better for the plants that live in and along the water. It is also better for humans and property, as flooding and related problems are less likely. And it costs a lot to create and maintain the cement stormwater infrastructure. So any steps to address water pollution in our community will make better use of our public funds. The key to cleaner and healthier water and more sustainable communities is to capture rain where it falls by helping it drain into the ground as nature intended. We can do this through things like rain barrels, rain gardens, porous pavement, or by just limiting the amount of dense and impenetrable surfaces in our community. More green space, less asphalt and pavement. Learn more at 15theriver.org. Brought to you by West Michigan Environmental Action Council, City of Grand Rapids, and Grand Rapids Community Media Center.